Angelo Del Seno grew up in Omaha. When he was 22, he left Nebraska and moved to the Northwest. He just returned home, preparing now for his next show and promoting his new album, Prodigal Son, with John Packard and Travis Musney. Here is Angelo Del Seno. Nicely done, Angelo. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Get out of your way here. Hi, yeah, nice to see nice you. To meet you. John, Travis, good to have you here as well. I'm going to scoot here. I'll come this way. <laughs> we'll chat. Um, Prodigal Son, the new album. I'm wondering about your creative process. We'll have different musicians who come in, and they all have something uh, that, that's unique to them. What is it for you that inspires you as you're writing and then once you get into the studio? Uh, well, for me, it's, it's about influences, past influences, mm -hmm. but also future influences. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, my friends here, Travis Musney and John Packard, yeah. are some of the new influences. Right. But I have some old ones as well. Uh, Michael Kazi, Matthew Singler, 
Uh, Davis Martin from the Northwest. When you were, yeah, you yeah, lived there for years. From Seattle. Mm -hmm. the, the music scene there is is very rich. We know that uh, uh, traditionally. If we think back to when I was younger and some of the bands that came out, um, how does Omaha though influence you musically, especially now that you're back home? Well, the Midwest is, uh, you know, has a lot of talent, mm -hmm. and it's, um, you know, there's a lot of a lot of old talent, talent that's been around for a while. But I'm really excited about the about the the new people that yeah. are coming out. And the new generation of kids that are starting to play music, learn how to play instruments, mm -hmm. and what was it's a wonderful thing. Your first instrument, you're playing guitar now, but I, something tells me that's not the only thing you play. My first instrument was the trumpet. I believe I was in third grade, and my music teacher, he did, <laughs> he did not like my trumpet playing. Really? It was pretty bad. Mike DiGiacomo, another, I, something tells me you might also have some Italian heritage, I don't know, based on your yeah. name. The, Mike also plays trumpet, so how did you transition uh, from trumpet then to guitar and the style of music you play now? Well, my dad, started me with that instrument and and uh you know even today he's a great uh, musical influence on my life mm -hmm. um he's the one that inspired me to start doing music so i'm real grateful for that mm -hmm. and yeah it's wonderful you um th this album you just released and all of your work you're not with a label but that's something that you it almost seems to me that it might be a point of pride for you that uh, you're you're doing this you're living this dream on your own how do you see it well, you know, I've had an offer from uh, uh, labels before, mm -hmm. um, but for me, it, it feels um, I'm more satisfied when I can kind of own my music and, mm -hmm. and take control of the creative process. And for me, that seems to work a lot better for now. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm definitely open to different opportunities. <laughs> well, do what makes sense. Um, and it's, it's cool to have you back in Omaha. If you'd like to see Angelo uh, live, you can. Well, he's live right now, but as in person live. Um, his uh, first show here in Omaha is on March 31st at Barley Street Tavern. The, that'll start at 9 o'clock. If you'd like to learn more about that appearance, you're welcome to log on to their website. And if you want to learn more about him and listen to some of his music, you can do that online too. It's angelodelceno.com. Thank you for coming in today, Travis. It's good to see you and John. Good to have you back on the show. And we've got 